guys, so it's been a while since I've done a video, as you may or may not have noticed. It's been a couple of weeks. I feel kind of bad, but I think it's because a lot has been going on. So because I moved from Canada to Texas in February, I, we haven't really had any um, family or friends come until last week and so last week two of my girlfriends from Canada came down to Texas and so I was really really busy we were on vacation for eight days um, and it just kind of tore me away from all of this we do a lot of really cool things we kind of just toured around um, the area that I live in we went down to the Gulf of Mexico and kind of hung out on the white sands in the ocean for a couple of days it was just really nice to kind of kick back relax and be on vacation and not worry about anything after vacation usually what happens is there's a big mess or clutter that seems to kind of accumulate um, or at least for me anyway when I'm on vacation um, before vacation happens I kind of do this massive like clean out declutter kind of get everything ready so that when I'm on vacation I can kind of be a little bit lazier and not really worry about too much um, however, that plan does always backfire because then what happens is when I'm off vacation, then I kind of have to do this big clean up and declutter type thing again, but I don't mind because I kind of got to be careless when I was on vacation. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so in the spirit of decluttering and cleaning up, one of the things that typically gets really crazy is my purse and or my bag and I always feel like I don't know like you're just you're on vacation you're buying things and receipts kind of pile up or maybe there's like garbage that piles up and so I did a purse clean out and kind of restocked it and reorganized it and then I thought oh that would be like perfect to kind of share and show you guys what I like to keep in my purse so first things first I'll introduce you to my bag um, this is my current bag and has been um, since last Christmas yes last Christmas so this is my Rebecca Minkoff Mac bag if you open up Hopefully I'm doing this so everybody can see. If you open up the clasp, there's a zipper pouch in this front part here. I, to be honest, have never used that part. Um, I probably should, but I don't, so yeah. So that part goes unused. When you open up the bag, um, I'll show you what it looks like inside. So it just looks like this. It's like a blue, this like really pretty blue, um, like royal blue color with black polka dots inside. And then basically it's like, there's like the open part of the bag. There's a zipper compartment here. And then on this side, there's like two just sort of open compartments that you can put things in. Um, and then, oh, and then there's like a little one inside there as well. I hope you can see. Um, but yeah, so I'll just kind of go through each compartment and show you what I keep in my purse on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I guess I'll just start, where will I start? Well, I'll just start in the two open compartments. So in the first open compartment, I keep um, this NYC Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. It's just a translucent um, powder. Um, I've never used, typically used a powder like this. Um, I have now because I live in a really hot, humid climate and I find that this face powder is translucent. You can't see it. You don't have to think about it when you're applying it and it works really well to like sop up the sweat or the moisture or whatever um, and I just use this little puff I normally don't like to use these either but it's really simple again you don't have to think about it you can just kind of apply it and forget about it so I carry one of these with me at all times um, I also carry whatever lipstick I'm wearing I'm not wearing this lipstick today but this was the one that was in my bag when I was organizing it um, I usually carry whatever lipstick I'm wearing I'll just take it with me and put it in with this in the little pouch 
and it's easy to grab and kind of it's there. Um, then in the other little open pouch, it's like it fits my iPhone perfectly. So I always keep my phone in my bag in that little pouch and then it's just there and easy for me to grab and I always know where it is. Um, I was bad for a little while at like putting my phone down somewhere and then I would like leave it there and be freaking out because I'd have to run back and get my phone. But that little pouch just fits my phone perfectly and so I just have like trained myself to put my phone in my bag where I know it is at all times. Um, the next sort of main compartment, like the big actual part of the purse, um, I keep my wallet and this is what my wallet looks like. It's nothing fancy. I got it from a store called Winners um, back in Canada. That's like a big department store. It's kind of like a Marshalls um, down here. And so I just found this. I needed a wallet at the time. I was kind of in a panic for one and Purple is my favorite color and this one was purple and it's kind of big and I think I'm gonna like go get a new wallet because I think I want something smaller that I can just grab. This is kind of big and awkward and to be honest, um, let me just see, I'll just, yeah I don't think you can see any of my cards but basically it just like keeps your cards here. Um, I have a picture of my little girl right there. I'll show you, her name's Madden. She's such a cutie. Yeah, so I keep a little picture of her there. Then there's like all these other compartments. I just think like it's a lot of wallet. Like it's too much wallet and it usually like has like a bunch of junk in it at all times. And um, the parts where the cards sit are all stretched. Cards always empty out into my purse and it's really annoying. So I think this wallet has seen better days and honestly, like I'm just gonna go get a new wallet and really downsize it. Um, and then it'll like fit in my purse better because this is kind of big for this bag as well. Um, so yeah, I just keep basic stuff that you would keep in your wallet, your change, your money, your cards. Yeah, nothing special, just a typical wallet. This is kind of funny. This is like in those like packs you get for um, like tampons. Like it's like a Kotex um, bag that you're supposed to put like your tampons in and stuff. So I'll just kind of go through what's in here. So I keep, I always keep a lip chap with me or a lip balm. This is the fresh sugar. Um, lip treatment with SPF 15. It's perfect for the summer. It's really moisturizing um, You can get these at Sephora um, They're just handy to keep in with this bag um, just in case my lips get dry, which Let's face it. Everybody's lips get dry. Um, so I keep that. I also keep um, a like little bottle of perfume just something that I'm wearing either that day or it's, it could be anything. I just like to keep a little bottle of perfume just in case throughout the day you just start to feel kind of ugh and you just need like a little freshen up. Um, usually a few spritzes of perfume. So just keeping a travel size perfume. This is Victoria's Secret's Bombshell. I just did a review on this. I'll link it down below. Loving this. It smells so good. Um, so I keep a little bottle of that. Then I keep, um, I do this and this is just kind of like, I don't know, whatever. Um, this is bobby pins with an elastic tied around them. So I just like to keep some hair stuff just in case I'm wearing my hair down and I get really hot and I feel like putting my hair up, then I can quickly just throw it up with some bobby pins and an elastic. And this just works to keep like a little bundle of whatever together. So I keep that in there. I also keep this little plastic bag and this is just a snack baggie with um, one of these like, oh, what are they called? I'm totally having a, anyway, you know the little toothbrushes and then you like throw them away after you use them, but you can use them to kind of freshen up. They have a little thing of toothpaste with a toothbrush and a little pick on the end. Um, these are awesome because if you are going out for a meal and you want to like freshen up after you eat um, or if you're just like out for the day and you're out for quite a while and you just are starting to feel kind of ugh, you can use this to freshen your breath they work really really well and you just discard them after um, I really suggest carrying some of these they just I don't know they're just a good thing to have I also carry um, 
I'll just leave them in the baggie because I don't want to touch them too much because these go in my mouth but um and that's the reason I keep them in the baggie is just for sanitation purposes but these are just like dental floss um picks and I just like to carry either these or an actual thing of dental floss with me. You just never know when you're going to need to kind of freshen up your mouth. And I don't know, it's just like good hygiene. And it just, I don't know. I, I, there's so many people that are always like, oh, I wish I had some dental floss or I wish I had a toothpick. And I don't use toothpicks because I just, well, they just freak me out. But um, yeah, dental floss is always good to keep. So I keep all of this in this little like... Kit. I also keep band-aids in here, but I'm all out of band-aids. I'll put like band-aids in here. Um, just like any emergency type um, things that you might need um, when you're out and about. And the reason I like this case, like I was saying, is because it's that material that wipes up really well, is that if my perfume for some reason bursts or my lip gloss melts all over the place or something, it's all in this case and I don't have to worry about it getting all over my bag and I can just like empty this out when I get home and like wipe it out and wash it out and it's good to go. So that's why I like this little bag, um, even though it is a tampon bag, whatever. Um, okay, what else? And then in the zipper compartment of my purse, um, I just keep a couple of things. I keep gum. This is Dentine Ice fresher breath, 40 minutes fresher breath after chewing, Arctic Chill. Um, I always just like to keep gum just in case, I don't know, you want to chew a piece of gum or you freshen up your breath. Um, I keep this little um, zippered type little purse thing. I got this from these, they hand these out at um, Lululemon, I think with their gift cards. Um, I obviously had a gift card and I decided to keep this um, for my bigger change, like parking change, like my quarters um, and such, because it's good to have that on hand and it keeps it kind of easy and quick when you're parking or whatever. This is empty, obviously, because I didn't fill it back up. And then the last thing I keep in there are some Kleenex pockets. Um, these are really clever because you never know when you're gonna need a tissue and or someone else around you is gonna need a tissue. And I like these because they fold up really thin um, and then they just like don't add any bulk to your bag. But you can open these up and there's Kleenex on both sides. Um, and it just packs up really nicely. And like I said, you never know when you're gonna need a tissue or you know, whatever. So yeah, so that is what is in my bag. Um, I typically will also keep, I'll bring my headphones with me. I ran around the house looking for them before I filmed this video and I could not find them for the life of me. Um, but I'll keep like headphones in my bag. Um, what else? Yeah, that's like typically it. That's pretty much what's in my bag on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, however, if I'm traveling or if I'm going somewhere specific, it will change according to that. But on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what's in my bag. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love watching what's in my bag videos. I always find it kind of interesting how people organize their bags or what they keep in their bags. And it always gives you really good ideas to like how to like improve your bag or like, I don't know, if there's like something you maybe didn't think of. So yes, so if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'm going to see you very soon. Bye-bye.